50. It's been a while since I made a vid. I've been busy with all kinds of other stuff. But I wanted to come at you with something. Get, are you guys familiar with this? The small block off plates. This is all the emission control stuff. Uh, once you run an exhaust system on your bike, uh, what happens is, um, this is an air pump, reed valve air pump system. And it's usually on top of your valve cover. What it does is it pumps more air into your exhaust system so you get a better combustion uh, as far as for emissions. You know, it burns whatever's left inside the pipes. The extra oxygen aids it in burning. So what happens is when you add a pipe and a jet kit and you're riding, you start getting all this backfire and all kinds of weird things going on and shooting flames out of your pipes and it's just annoying. So if you look on eBay or anywhere else, these block off plates, you see them for about $45. They're nothing but a little piece of aluminum, some are Kevlar, and I mean, there's nothing to make them yourself. Some guys, what I did for a while was, got two of these, you know, and what I did was I had one on one side and the other side, and I made a fitting. And another time, I actually just plugged them up for temporary, but now I want to clean up the engine bay. If you can look in there, uh, let's see if I don't have my light picked up, but you can see the engine. Uh, this is what it looked like before. Can you see that? All this stuff hanging around, it's messy, right? When you go to do your spark plugs, it's just hard to get in there. So what I want to do is clean it up. So here's the reed valve. So I took the original reed out of there, I clean it up, and I'm gonna leave those in there because that, so that that way, any positive pressure, any positive pressure that comes up will be shut out with the valves. Any negative pressure the, the reeds won't be able to open there. There's not going to be any negative pressure because the cap will be on there. So you can see that's what it's going to look like. You see that's flush on there. Right? You see that? Now I'll show you what I've done. Now what I did was come over here. You see what I got going? I'm using the old air saw. Okay? So can you see that? What I did was I traced this on a piece of a flat stock aluminum. So I put it on there and I traced it all around like I did on my other videos. The other videos of me gusting the frame and making other things. So I use this as a template. So other guys, there's some people that they'll epoxy this hole and this and that. But you know what, to me that just still looks ugly. I want a nice piece of aluminum on there. I'm going to bevel the edges, clean it up real nice. But what I did was I put it on there and I traced it out. And now I'm cutting it out. Here's one blank that's cut out. I've still got to finish trimming it, grinding it, and I've got a lot more work to do on this. But as you can see, there's one. One's already cut out. It's a quarter inch aluminum. So you see it's going to look a lot better. So this will be the top. I'll bevel the edges. It's going to be a really, really, really neat setup. See that? See the difference? That way I can get rid of this. You know? So, all right, let's go back to the banshee, and I'm going to show you. I'll lay this on there. And Alright. So this will help us out a little bit. So as you can see, inside there, uh, see where that reed cage is? I'm gonna leave that in there. And some of them you have to take them out, but basically once this is gonna be cleaned up, this is gonna go right in here. See the difference? Now look at that for a minute. I'm going to get the original one. And you tell me which one you'd prefer to have. Once these edges are beveled, you see how nice that looks? Can you see that? Nice and clean. I can get to the spark plugs a lot easier. Remember, this is a four-cylinder street bike power banshee. So um, that's why this engine looks a little different. But there's that one. Here's the original stock one. It looks, that's it's horrible. And then you figure, then you add the hoses and all the other pair system goodies that were there. I'm not using a stock air box. This stuff, it's, it, it's basically, it's useless to me. It's unnecessary in an off-road machine. So, there you go. Remember, this is rough. This is not done yet. You know, but see, I can even put a template on her and engrave ZX7R or Banshee, I can do whatever I want, but I'll probably just leave it like that. But anyways, there you go. So this is the, the first start of uh, how to make your own pair valves, smog block off covers. Because like I said, they sell for about $45. 
Um, I've seen them down to 35. I bought a separate 25 and they were the wrong ones. And, you know, so rather than spending $45, I'd rather spend an hour, a half hour in the garage, have a little bit of fun, make, you know, make some parts and uh, you know, save some cash. You know, that can go in my fuel tank or to other good things on my Banshee. So Banshee Fever 750, one more tip of the week, how to make pair of small Glock off plates. You can do this now, just so you know. You can do this for the Honda 450Rs if they have them. This can be done to anything, the Raptors. It, it just all you have to do is take the original one off and then make a template out of quarter inch aluminum if you want. You can use, you know, eighth inch if you want, but I feel better with the quarter inch so I get a nice, I get no flex. You know, because remember, there's, there is some pressure coming out because that, that's tied into the cylinder. There's two holes in here that are tied into the exhaust cylinder. So if you're running a super trap like I am, it creates a little bit of back pressure. You figure to create a little bit of back pressure, so you're gonna get some pressure coming off of these caps. So that's why I wanted to use quarter inch, and then I'm gonna use the silicone RTD gasket maker around there, just a little bit. And then uh, that'll, that'll button it up. So this is part one. Part two um, will be once it's all done. Once the pair valves are done and the edges are ground down and the holes are drilled, and I'm prior to installation, I'll do part two for you guys so you can see how they look. All right, Banshee Fever 750, we're back at it again. Been busy with stuff, but we're back again. Banshee Fever 750, over and out.